Welcome to our demonstration of vSphere Storage DRS and Storage I.O. Control. This is an introductory video and will walk you through the basics of Storage DRS by analyzing Storage DRS-enabled data store clusters. We will also look at the basics of Storage I.O. Control. In our demo environment, we see that our data store cluster consists of two iSCSI data stores. We will look at some performance stats on this data store cluster. In this graph, we see that storage I.O. control has started to take effect, and it is normalizing the latency across our data stores. We scroll down and see that we have a couple of app servers that are competing for the I.O. of this cluster. Then, looking at this chart, we see that one of the two data stores in the cluster is highly active, and the other one is pretty much idle. The I.O. control activity chart reports the same. We notice that iSCSI 2 is much busier than iSCSI 1. The VM observed latency report shows that the latency for iSCSI 2 is significantly higher than iSCSI 1. As we keep scrolling, we observe the same trend across all reports. We see that our App 02 and App 01 servers are competing for the data store resources. Here, App 01 is our mission critical application server, whereas App 02 is just a standard application server. We go into the Related Objects tab. and see that we have our share value set such that App01 is our critical server at this point. The rest of them have normal share value, which is 1000. Now if we go in and have a look at the performance graphs on this data store, we see that these two servers are competing for the resources. However, this data store does not have sufficient resources to handle the load that these two VMs are generating. Storage I.O. control is reducing the queue depth on the hosts thus lowering the latency. Storage I.O. control also ensures App01 receives more access to the data store because it has the higher share value. We can also balance latency using Storage DRS. Storage DRS can do I.O. and utilization balancing across data stores inside of a data store cluster. Here we see that the iSCSI 2 data store is I.O. bound. We pull out our Alerts tab and see that we have an alert raised with a recommendation from Storage DRS. This is a typical example of Storage DRS set in manual mode. This is similar to the recommendations you will get on how to balance out your compute if DRS is in manual mode on your cluster. This window we see shows the before and after scenarios. The algorithm tells us that if we run DRS and move App01 from iSCSI 2 to iSCSI 1, it will get all the I.O. it needs. The IOs for the other VMs will also be satisfied. We click on the Apply Recommendations button, and Storage DRS will now remediate it by initiating a storage vMotion from one data store to the other. If we go back into the cluster and run Storage DRS now, we see that the list is empty. This means that at this point in time, Storage DRS has no recommendations, which indicates both space and I.O. are balanced. If we look at the performance charts now, we see that our latency has gone down across the board and that I.O. for both servers has gone up. App01 is actually getting more of the resources it needed because it is our critical application server. App02 is receiving all the I.O.s it is requesting for because the I.O. on that data store is free now. These two features combine and work together. It means we now have storage I.O. control which, on a per data store level, manages the I.O. It throttles back less important VMs to give the higher priority VMs the resources they need. At the higher level, we now have the data store cluster with the data stores in them. Here, we can do balancing based on space and on I.O. load. We can initiate storage vMotion either automatically or manually. Then, appropriate actions will be taken or recommendations will be given. This will be based on the amount of free space in the data store or the I.O. load that we are seeing on the data store over an observation window. This will recommend or move a VM for you so that your I.O. balances out across the board. This concludes our demonstration of vSphere Storage DRS and Storage I.O. Control. Thank you.